you should do the smile without your eyes. Smile without your eyes. No, wait. No, wait, smile. Wait, smile without your teeth. Smile. Without your eyes. No, wait. Smile. Raise your eyebrows. Now don't smile. That's your model face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. Hi. Jumbo. Yeah, so I was listening to it and it's just a little loud with the high for us in the beginning. Oh, is it? Yeah. Jumbo. Yeah, soft. Softer. Um, how is everyone out there? It's negative. You're very chic. You have something. It's cookie dust. You're very chic. Do I? Yes. With my... You're very intelligent. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> okay. Like if you had those big black glasses, you would just. I got some. Oh my god. Should I go grab just... them? Uh... You go introduce our sauce. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where Tavia is going. To get the rest of my black. Black outfit. Yeah. Tavia just got back from Arizona. She's looking very tan along with Luke. Uh, I was over here yesterday. I don't know why. Oh, I was showing in the neighborhood and I called Tavia to ask where a good breakfast burrito place would be. And she said, just come on over. And I saw her husband and he just looks like a bronze goddess. <laughs> Oh my god. How about these glasses? Yeah, are? you look fabulous. You okay. look very chic. They're super dirty though. I can't see out of them. Are they prescription? No, I got them for my Supergirl costume for oh. Halloween. Yes, you look very, like, very New York, like. Oh. Like. Uh, just not a size two. Elitist. Yeah, something. just in a, like, a normal average woman size, like a 10, 12. What? Body positivity. Yeah, I thought we were working on 2021 is the year of the positive That's positive why positivity. I just said, oh, but you can see the ring light. That's the only problem. <laughs> is it's like, hi. Yeah. How do you get me without the ring light? Uh, angle. There, see? Okay. Ooh, that was a good angle. Yeah. Now that we spent 20 minutes on your glasses. Okay. Yeah, the glasses are a little hard. Let Anyways. Um, so, yeah, so tell us about your just trip Just got back Arizona. from Arizona. Tell us all about it. Oh, you look like, look like Clark Kent. You look like my normal or glasses. Kent Clark. You've What's seen me with my glasses, haven't you? Yeah. I slept in the same bedroom it, as you. It looks the same, right? Well, yours are a little thinner, I feel like. Thin? Like, smaller. Square. Are they that big? Should, on my next one, should I just get like... Big. Gigantic. Mm -hmm. Gigantor. Um, so it was wonderful. Uh, it was what we needed because I don't know where you live because obviously everybody's listening to us. Um, it's negative seven. Not outside. today. Not but today. It was. But yesterday it was negative like nine. So it's chilly and Arizona was amazing and we had a pool and we just hung out and ate too much. That's why I'm wearing a turtleneck so you can't see my double chinny chin chin. Body positivity. Activity. I also cut my hair. I think we knew that last time. No, I got it cut right before I left. I don't think it was cut yet. I think. Uh-uh. I think it? you did. Did it? Yeah. Oh, okay, so. Anyways, we're still rocking the short hair. I love it. It's growing. Especially with this turtleneck. I mean, such a vibe. Especially in on the camera. Does it look good? Like, in person, you look good. But, like, on the camera, it's just very, like... Yes. Uh, yes. Um, my birthday's coming, and I told my mom. Our birthday. Our birthday. Our birthdays are two days apart. I'm older and wiser. Mm. Um, our birthdays are coming, and I called my mom and said, do you need a birthday idea? Because I got one. And she's like, well, I can always take an idea. And I was like, but it's not really like an idea. Like, if I tell you, I really just want you to buy it. Like, I don't want it to be an idea. Oh, this is a present idea. Yeah. Because I'm either going to buy it now for myself, or I can tell it to somebody and they can buy it for me. Mm -hmm. And I told her I wanted a fanny pack. A uh, Gucci one? A Lululemon. Oh. And my mom, like, was choking. And she said, under no circumstances, after all the crap I gave her as a child, because she used to wear a fanny pack, yeah. would she ever buy me a fanny pack? Like, why, do you and, want, why do you want a fanny pack? Where did this come from? <laughs> okay, so... My friend, who remains nameless, that went to Arizona with us, because, mm -hmm. God forbid, we have people in common that would watch this podcast. Okay. She did not tell people she went. Um, oh. Because mm -hmm, she's kind of in the medical field. Oh. And there's a lot of judgy wudgies out there. Gotcha. So, anyways. She, we went golfing, and she had this, like, adorable little pink, like, 
she wore it more crossbody, and I was like, what is That's that? Okay. Like, it fit, like, her phone, her wallet, everything she needed. It was cute. I was like, what is that? She's like, oh, it's my Lululemon fanny pack that I got in Vail when we were up there once. And I was like, I want one of those. Because I have a fanny pack. You've seen it. No. I but it only that. holds my cell phone. It's for, like, running. And it literally goes around my waist. It doesn't stretch out. So, anyways, I wanted this one from Lululemon. And so far, everybody's... Did you set your husband about it? Did yeah. Did he on board? No, he just kind of was like, why? You have one. I was like, the one I have is a $3 one from Target, and it holds my cell phone. It's not cute. It's like yeah. what I wear when we go on a walk. Okay. So anyways, I might be buying my own fanny pack because everybody's like, mm. Mm. And then I told Lisa, and she's like, ew, don't buy that. And I was no, like... No, it's very on trend. That's what I said. Then the crossbody thing is very on trend, too. Okay, when we're done with this, I'm going to show you the colors that I'm thinking, and you can just tell me. Because at this point... Why don't you get a Gucci one, though? I'll say you bought it. I'll pay for it. It'll be my present from you to me. Hmm. Okay. okay. What do you want? Uh, what nothing, are you asking your, for? Just your love. And oh, just your, always. And just your kindness. Always. Mm. <laughs> I want a full 365 days of... Just love and kindness. That's what I want for my birthday. I never give you anything <laughs> other than love and kindness. Uh, <clears throat> I don't. I don't really like gifts. They make me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't like gifts at all. What? Is that weird? Yeah. Yeah, I hate gifts. Oh. I'd rather people spend their money, their hard money, on themselves than than me. So a Gucci fanny pack for you is out. Uh, yeah, I would feel wildly uncomfortable if somebody gave me a Gucci fanny back. Is it expensive? Unless I give you, have given you, uh, blowjobs, then, because, you know, Jay, uh, not Jay, ah, Jeff, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff got me my Louis Vuitton duffel, but I, a lot of blowjobs for that happened. A lot. Lot. Like, lot. my jaw is gonna never, ah. it's never gonna be right. Uh. So anyway, yeah, but if somebody just gave me a Gucci... How much is it? What? Fanny? Uh, yeah. I don't know, probably twelve to 1500 Oh, Luke Galvin, he's got you. He loves you so much. No, no. If Luke That'd Galvin bought it for you, would you be like... I would be skeeving inside. What? Yeah, it would be awful. <laughs> I don't like getting gifts, honestly. Do I smell like that? Did you have sex today? But do I smell like it? <laughs> no, why? I feel like I can smell myself. <laughs> what do you mean? I feel like I have like that after sex. <laughs> oh well, today is the day after Valentine's Day. <laughs> so inappropriate. And Davy, you're blushing a little. I know, because I felt like I just got like a moment of that. But I tried to perfume of myself. Goop. Goop. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about, <laughs> you're talking about me gooping last time. Now you're gooping. I'm gooping. <laughs> Goop. Okay, well, tell us about your Valentine's Day, then I'll tell you a little a, bit about mine. It was a cluster fadak. Uh, Luke and I were going to go to dinner at just this cute little taco place that we've been wanting to try. Yeah, nothing fancy, right? Lafayette, nothing fancy. Lafayette. Um, which I was totally okay with, because sometimes like those big steak dinners are like... It's too much. It's too much. Yeah, you eat I too much. It. So we were super excited, and we got there, and apparently the electricity... Transformer or something or other in the whole little downtown blue and we couldn't eat there so we ended up getting barbecue nachos I mean that seems like a fine Valentine's Day dinner you know what anymore this many Valentine's Days in how many is this for you oh well 35 <laughs> it's gonna be 17. 19 years in December wow so this would be our 19th Valentine's Wow. Mm hmm That's that's a lot. That's a lot. So now it's just flowers and like dinner. I was trying to calculate if I could even be with somebody for twenty years at this point. I could. Because I'm thirty Is that what am I, 34, 35, 33. I'm thirty four? Thirty five? Thirty three. I'm gonna be thirty five. Thirty three. So <laughs> So it'd be fifty. Wait, I was fifteen? Is that when you guys got together? Well hold on. We got together in two thousand and two. So in 2022, 20, it'll be 20 freaking years. Okay. All right. But I was a junior, so I think I was at least 16 because I could drive. Yeah. That's crazy. What would you say that the secret to a long and loving, lasting marriage would be? That you knew them in a past life and that's why it works. So all of 
all of Tavia's uh, spiritual advisors <laughs> say that they, Luke and Tavia have known each other for many lives. Many lives. We've been married before and had children. Yeah. Um, honestly, I don't know. Luke and I just, you know, they say you have a soulmate and maybe like it's cheesy to say, but I think people can have more than one soulmate. Mm. And maybe it's like you can have a soulmate for every different part of your life that you're in. Mm -hmm. Like when you're younger, you find somebody who's like your soulmate, but you grow apart. Yeah. I think that Luke and I just have always, our communication skills are really good. And we just... When you keep him in check, like if you feel like you're not getting something, you're like, hey, yeah, Luke, I need totally. this. Yeah, totally. Like, I need this from you. If I feel like we're just hitting rock bottom, I'm like, we're not connected spiritually anymore. We're not connected emotionally. We need to bring it back to the basics. And that's right. when we go literally back to the basics. Like, remember the days when you actually, like, had to impress me? Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go back there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I got my labs done today, so I had to get my blood drawn. Right. And there's a phlebotomist. Love that word. Uh, I who, don't love that word. Who I see all the time. I don't know her name, but she's very sweet. And um, I asked her, I said, uh, she, somehow the topic came up about, well, she also told me that her car got stolen and her dad died the same day. So that was that was a rough start. And I'm like, mm, are we going to be able to focus here? Because I need, I need all attention right here, okay? Oh, that is rough. Yeah. So anyway, somehow got, I was trying to like cheer her up. So we were talking about her husband or something. Mm-hmm. And she said that they'd been together for 40-some years, 43 years. How old is years? she? Like, in her 60s. Oh, okay. I would imagine. Okay. Um, and so I ask her, I love asking people, you know, that have been together for a long time, like, what's the key? Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out the, mm -hmm. the key. And um, I just want to make sure we're still lined up. Um, and she said, we just have a lot in common. You know, a lot of people, when, when you ask them that question, they kind of look at you like, I don't know if there's just one thing, you know? Yeah. Um, that it just, it just kind of works. And she said that they have a lot in common and that they're pretty easygoing with each other. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. I feel like, you know, there's always... 43 years is a long time. That's a long time. Could I do that? 40, 50, 60, 70? Mm, maybe. Yeah, you could do maybe it. 73? I don't know if I'm living that long. I, I put this body through. I'm only going to be 75. You're living that long. I, I don't know. I'll be happy if I make it 55. <laughs> oh my God. That's the most morbid thing I've ever heard. I will cry so hard. What? You got it a solid 20 years ago. That's not Plenty. enough. Plenty. That's not enough. Plenty. I've been with Luke for 20 years. Exactly. That's not enough. Oh, okay. Anyway, what were you going to okay, say? Okay. Anyways, how was your time with Jacob? Oh yeah, so Jacob and I went to... Look at my drawing. See, do you see how she doesn't listen to me? She just pays attention to herself. Um, I don't know so... why we have a camera. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, now they can play it back, play the footage back. And be like, see? <laughs> see how you treat me? Um, so we went to Barcelona, which is a, a uh, Spanish... Tapas wine bar. Wine bar. Have you been there? No. It's great. Oh my god, that's where we should do our double date. Okay, because it's a good atmosphere. Yeah, it's very sexy and. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we I dip sitting next to Jacob, and then you and Luke can sit next to each other. So everybody in the restaurant's like, "Who's with who?" That's fine. Do I you, love but you that guys game. don't like wine. I do. Ish. You don't. Does Luke anything better? No. Luke drink wine. Do they have beer? I don't know. It's a Spanish wine bar. Maybe that's Luke's opportunity to be sober, Sally. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, so we went to Barcelona. The food was really good. Really good. Um, that's my phone. Um, and I was I, like, is there a ghost like, no. taking videos of us? And then afterwards, we went to the sex shop, and we got candy underwear, which did not work out well for me. Size 3XL it on this body. was huge when we pulled it out of <laughs> the box. Like, I'm serious. It was like this big. Why didn't you tie it up? What do you mean tie it up? I'm sure you could have, like, put it on and... Twist tied it. Okay, so I put it on. I've already told Tavia this because we just had lunch, but I put it on, <laughs> and the the beads they were like, what do they call those? What the sweet tarts? Sweet tarts. They were strung on these and the on the string, and then they would stick together on a piece of hair, and then rip out the hair. So it was needless to say, it was not sexy. 
It was a flop. It was a flop doodle. I actually really appreciate that you had a flop doodle because you're so serious about like... I'm very serious in the bedroom. So serious in the bedroom. There's no laughing in the bedroom. There's no laughing. And I think it's funny that you're like, okay, these aren't working, so we need to take these <laughs> off right now because I'm going to have patchy nose happening. <laughs> well, oh, it was painful. Yeah. That makes me laugh because at some point you laughed. Uh... Someone giggled. Maybe. I don't know. And how much better did it feel to just be like, <laughs> take... Uh, I don't know. I'm very serious in the bedroom. This is very... It's not There's a no matter. time to be serious it's in the a, bedroom. It's a la Luke laughing. and I, like, high-fived over dinner because we were like... <laughs> <laughs> We were like, nobody ever wants to do it after dinner because you're just no, too full. So we were like, in. we were like, had our lovely Valentine's afternoon. You're blushing again. I know. I don't know if I've ever seen you blush this much. I think much. it's just My hot goodness. in here. I just don't think it is. It's actually freezing. Um, and then at dinner when we had jalapenos on everything and I got mm -hmm. spicy chili, mm -hmm. Luke and I did a physical over the food <laughs> high five. Like, go, go team. We go got team. down before... This was about to happen. Go team. Wait, were we on the phone yesterday with Luke when you were explaining the Eiffel Tower to him? Yeah. I don't think he appreciated that term. He didn't? I, so well, I don't you should have seen my diagram with my hands. Reaction was. Well, so that's what was making me think of it when you guys high fived and you were like doing some sort of <laughs> hand model in the car. I was like, I'm driving and Luke's working and I'm like, this is person one. This is person two. <laughs> person three goes here. And then these guys hold hands like this. And Luke was like. Yeah, just, wait, does everybody know what an Eiffel Tower is? It's when there's two people, two guys, I would imagine. Two guys are boning either a guy or a girl in the middle. No, 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 and no, then no. They hold, no, no, no. Hold hands. The person in the middle is probably the girl. Or a guy. So three guys? Yeah. What's uh -huh. wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a weird concept. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three guys. Wait, so three guys? No, that's, a, that's just... That's, that's weird. Two guys is enough, but three guys is a no. What? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's probably more realistic. I highly doubt there's any sweet little girl who's like, yeah, tower I me. That, I think that tower me... <laughs> and what two straight dudes are like, let's interlock hands at the top. Right, make eye contact. <laughs> As we're like defiling your poor wife, one of them is the husband, right? Or it's I just don't some know. random all in a bar. Just strippers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> or she's the hooker, and then there's two guys in Vegas or something. I mean, there's there's a lot of scenarios. There's like it, this could go right so many ways. I suppose it could be three girls. No, with strap-ons. Yeah. So that this is getting very graphic, by the way. But so the girl in front would have to strap on a dick, and then no, she would just. Get eaten out? Yeah. Oh. So the girl in the back would have to strap it on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, there you go. Two yeah, girls, so like, one so boy, three boys, three girls. They let that. Not at all simmer. It's a lot. And it, it, the possibilities very, are endless. The possibilities are, at the end of the day, it could be three them days. That's very accurate. And we Why don't are really, we trying to put people in a box? Don't box them up. Them days, exactly. Them days, unit binaries. Anyway, so I just think LGBTQ plus edition. I think it's so funny that when we <laughs> when we talk about this stuff with Luke because he just like he he's just, just absorbs like, it. Oh, oh. okay. Ah. <laughs> That's maybe why it works. Is that Luke's just like so not bothered by things? Right, he's very easygoing. Because I feel like I have friends that. Their wives, if they tried to have these conversations and their husbands were in the room, like the husband would be so like put off, either put off or weirdly jealous right, or some yeah, sort of, yeah. and and you're just like, what are you jealous of? Mm. We're talking about a weird Eiffel Tower over here, mm. you know? And Luke's just always like, huh? Okay, and he probably thought about it for a while and was and like, he's like, I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here. Yeah, I'm gonna store that <laughs> in the filing cabinet back here. <laughs> Luke knows way more. Than most people. I, um, oh my gosh. You know who knows more? Me? Uh, Joe. We won't say his last name, but Joe from our office. <laughs> so when Tavia and I worked together, we were Joe. in this office next door to this older gentleman who is very nice. nice. Uh, we call him Uncle Joe. He's from New York. You know, had a New York accent. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's conservative. No, I don't think he's, con I mean, he went to... Woodstock. Yeah, so we don't think he's conservative, but no. I would come in just guns a-blazing about my weekend about 
fucking Eiffel Tower or something. Railed by 12. And he's and, just like... And I'm sure Joe in the other room, I, we for sure could hear everything. Everything. Every single word. Every word. And so, um, yeah, so he knows all my deepest, darkest secrets, and hopefully he goes to his grave with them. Oh, you know he goes home and tells his wife. You think? I don't think so. He just... He marinates on those. Yeah, he's like, huh? I didn't, he probably doesn't really understand. He probably a lot does of what a Google. He probably does a Google search after he hears you say. He's like, oh, like, uh, oh, 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 god. <laughs> <laughs> he probably hears you say a bukkake, and he's yeah. just like, what? Yeah. And he's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, Luke being easygoing, I think yeah. that's why I like like um, Jacob. Because he's so easy going. He's so easy He's not going. threatened by this relationship. I don't think he's threatened by anything. Yeah. And I just think that it's just, it's very, which is weird because he's a Leo. Are Leos possessive? I don't know. I thought they were possessive. No, I don't know that they're possessive. I think they're just know it allies. Yeah. Is he a know it all No. He With exudes, his birthday. He exudes uh, a certain sense of confidence, but I don't think it's, it's to the point where it's confident. arrogant. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. But he's definitely very confident, which I think is very attractive. Yeah. Do we know when his I, birthday is? It's in my phone, but... Where he is in the Leo path? <laughs> you want me to get my phone? Mm, kind of. Okay, I'll look it up. So Leos, in general, are a little bit of something. But this hair today, I mean, I don't know. You're looking very sexual. Um. So they went to the sex shop, and they got some... Candy necklace panties. August 5th. Oh, so he's like a... Is that on the cusp? No, he's at the beginning of the Leo. Oh. So maybe that's good. Maybe he's like a little... August 5th. I don't know if you could hear that. Okay. He's... Yeah, because July 21st would be the beginning. Okay. July 22nd okay. would be the beginning. 21st, 22nd. So he's just right at the top. Right. Which maybe that's better because... Wait, what's before that? Cancer. I don't know anything about a can what's it what's a cancer? Oh my god. They are like the life of Cameron's a cancer. Okay. Life of the party, Mr. Jock Show, like, but behind closed doors, biggest baby you've ever met in your entire life, and will literally cry if you yell at them. I remember Lane once called me and she's like, I thought I was supposed to cry in this relationship. I was like, oh. hmm, You yelled at him. That's not him at all either. So then he's probably a Leo, but he's just like not like the other Leos that we know that are towards the end of it. Yeah, he said it. And then, I, do you know much about the like the rising, the moon, and the sun, and the I rising? I need to get better at really my suns it. and moons rising. Because yeah. he's kind of into that, too. And he said he's a, Pi he's a Scorpio, Scorpio sun, maybe? Was he super sexual? Uh, yeah, yeah. So that would be Scorpio. Okay, yeah. Scorpios are, like, super mm -hmm. sexual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, he's very easy to... You know what I was going to do and I forgot to do last night at dinner? I was going to make him say five things about me that he likes. <laughs> There's your Pisces. <laughs> oh, so, what so do you like about <laughs> me? <laughs> I love you too, I was, but like, what do you like about me? I was going to make him say... I was going to sit down and be like, okay, tell me five things about what you like. <laughs> You're so crazy. You know what the the lady of the phlebotomist love that word. I hate that word. You know, you know what she said to me as well because her husband's a Pisces. And I said I'm a Pisces. She's like, oh, you're a good person, aren't you? I say, yes, I am. You're yes, saying, I am. Thank you. Yes, I am. Thank you, sweet little angel. It's taking my blood like a vampire. <laughs> yeah. So I watched this TikTok and it was like some girl that's like the next time a man tells me I'm beautiful, she's like, I'm just gonna say yes. Not thank you. Yes. Yes, I oh, am. Oh, okay. And so I was telling Luke about it. And last night, after just like the debacle, and we were on vacation, and I let him sleep in every single day because... On vacation? I did. Oh, that was nice of he, you. You know, he's allowed to do these things. So last night, he was like, come here. Give me a hug. And I was giving me a hug. And I, you know me, I like go in for like the 45 seconds. Right, yeah. And like, I was also shivering because it was so cold that I like patted him. I was like, oh, okay, he's still in it. <laughs> Honey, what do you want? And he yeah. was just like... I just want to tell you that I love you so much and I appreciate Aww. you. And I go, yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and he just laughed at me and he goes, okay. Oh, wow. And I was like, yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. And he's like. Because you told this before. Yes. You told him before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And yes. So, yes. So when somebody's like, you're oh. handsome. Yes. Yes, I am. I Thank like you. that. Yeah. 
Like Actually, I don't know if say I thank need, you. Yes. I don't know if I need any bigger red than I already have, though, so. <laughs> well, I was like, be some bad I was trying to give him, like, the tap, tap, and I'll cuddle right. you in tap bed. It out. Tap yeah. it out. Yeah. And he was just, like, embracing. I was like. That's so sweet. And this was last night. <laughs> oh. And normally I'm the one that's like, hug me, daddy bear. And so he's hugging me, and I'm like, oh. I kept trying to pull away. That's I'm like, so Dad. sweet. They <laughs> really are the cutest. I don't remember. Uh, I've caught you guys a couple of times, but you guys, like, looking at each other or something, like. Yeah. We kissed the other day, and Savannah was eating, and she goes, Ew! Why are you kissing in public? And then Luke just takes it to the next level, and he, like, wraps his leg around me and tries to, like, mangle my face. And the girls are like, Icky. No! That's it. That's all she wrote. I hate that. That's how the... Cookie crumbles. That's right. Okay, you take us out. Ooh, sign up on... <laughs> Our newsletter. No. <laughs> uh, Subscribe. Oh Why do we have 425 rolls? It literally says 425 rolls. I know it's a Costco pack of toilet paper. 425 oh, sheets. Those napkins. No, those are sheets. It's 30 rolls Is of that toilet paper. Toilet paper. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hello, in a panorama. Okay. All right. That's how the cookie crumbles. Follow us. Subscribe. I'll send you a newsletter. Um. <laughs> Spotify, iTunes, iCloud. What else? Uh, YouTube. YouTube, Roku, Amazon Fire Stick. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this one. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you on the next one. Boom. 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 Give us a smile. <laughs>